Welcome back to the Lumberjack Challenge. We're starting to load up our goods this morning. It's November and we got a good amount to sell. I do have some plans that I want to do and try out this episode. I kind of have an idea of how I want this series to progress now. Got some awesome comments. We're going to get a little bit better at using this equipment the correct way. You can see I'm still struggling with the pallets. Glad everyone liked the comical hour, the comedy hour that we kind of had. Not an hour though, it was like, it was like two minutes of me loading up the, the pallets last time. We'll probably, oh, 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 see this is where I, I struggle. We'll probably cut a lot of this out of the videos just because, you know, it's, it's, it's repetitive. It's very, very repetitive and I don't want to just constantly show that in the videos. But I think what I want to do is I have all of these long beams all prepared. So we'll go ahead, whoops, we got to switch to the back drop the winch, hook up to the trailer, go get these sold, and then we can go to the next pallet type. Do one at a time here. 5,000 long wood beams today. We'll get those sold first, and then we'll, you know, get all this stuff sold, probably start repopulating. Well, we're actually gonna talk about that. Let's get this sold. We'll get into what's next. Big old $44,000 so far. Gonna go ahead and bust the rest of this out. And I'll see you in a few. And then there was 8,000 long planks. Let's see how much money this brings in today. I'm guessing a couple thousand dollars is what we're going to sit at when we're done. Uh, maybe. We'll see. I do know the pallets are the one thing that are fluctuating price-wise, so... Eh, we'll sell them anyways. And the last load of the day to sell. And then we'll get on with some of our plans. If we stop in time... 63,000. All right, so 161,000 is what we're sitting at. I believe we had 5,000 when we started. What I am going to do here is reconfigure this and we'll first... Um, yeah, how do I want to do this? Because I want to get these forks home. Don't know what will happen when I reconfigure it, but let's find out. We're going to put the forks on the trailer. This might... I don't know. This will be fun. I like experimenting with game me mechanics here. Let's go ahead and back on up. And we're going to loop in here. We're going to reconfigure this so that we can put some of the wood chips in. And we might decide today that we're just not going to do wood chips. We're going to see. We're going to do it at least once, though. All right. They're still in there. I don't know how we're going to get them out. I will use super strength for that, guys. Oh, we got to buy something. I want this universal bucket. I'm getting the itch to start upgrading our tractor and our equipment. So I do want to start progressing pretty quickly in this series because there's a lot that I want to discover and kind of learn about forestry and just kind of show you my learning process. That's what this is all about. Okay, so we know we've done this in Whiskey RP. We got a nice telehandler that helped us load up wood chips. And this is probably going to take a good amount of time and the chips get pushed around real annoyingly. So I do know that. But there we go, a thousand liters at a time to fill this thing up. And if I remember right, this thing, I guess this one holds a decent amount, but wood chips aren't gonna be worth much. And before I do that, let's double check that we even have a place to sell wood chips. It appears we have a couple places. Okay, that is wonderful. So we'll go back at it. Seriously, there's no way a thousand pounds or a thousand liters is doing that. Yeah, we need a bigger tractor that can handle more weights. All right, so that's better. So now that we know that's an issue, go ahead and sneak up here. Drop that, get a little higher. There we go, that, that'll do. All right, I'm gonna bust this out. All right, I think that's enough to kind of do the experiment I want to. So let's go ahead and get hooked up here. We'll have to drop off the winch again. We almost had a full one more load probably would have done it. But 60, 6,700 liters of wood chips. We'll see what this makes. I think what we're gonna do is use the smoothing tool the rest of the way and just get rid of the wood chips because I'm not a huge fan of this process. And they're pretty pointless with what we're doing. We could sell them there at the bio place. But I think we can sell them down here as well. I think that's where I saw the best price. Was it this one? There we go. We'll keep the bucket. We're not going to get the money back for it if we do decide to not do this. Just to kind of simulate that we're cleaning up the wood chips at least. It's not terrible money. It's not bad. $8,000. I'm not going to complain about that, but 
just got to be honest. I don't really want to do it. So let's go ahead and reconfigure this while we're here. We did the experiments. Now we can move on. Now that's what it's going to look like for now. You can see I'm planning some expansions behind where we've added some of this asphalt. So that's what that new road's for. I just want to make it start looking like an industrial area. And I do see a little more terraforming I'm going to want to work on. So today we are going to probably get that stump grinder and start looking into some more equipment to upgrade to. And I think one of the other things that we're really going to look into is, is planting some trees today. So what we're going to do, we're going to try out some of the tips and tricks that I was given. And really, I can't just back over that now. I guess we're going to drive over it. <laughs> and getting these stumps out of the way and possibly even though this isn't a farming uh, series, we're probably going to cultivate up this whole area to make it easier to work. So if I then cut the tree this way, which is what I should have been doing. I was being a doofus. This should make it easier for us to attach it. And that might be a problem, but we'll come back here. And I guess what I've been doing wrong is I need to lower this, the winch, and then grab this, attach it. And then I can bring in the log. Let's get a good view of that and see if it'll even let us. Bring in the log, raise the winch. And look at that, it doesn't drag anymore. We can't really turn. No, that's amazing. Okay, that's just one tree though, and not one of the super long trees or tall trees. But now that lip won't be a problem over here. The log's not on the ground. And I just got over here like I wasn't pulling anything. There we go, 7,000 wood in here now. So that's pretty delightful, to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and cruise on top here, get a few more trees, get these populated, and then we're gonna go to the store and make another purchase. So let's lower it. So we got it down to the ground now. And I'm gonna try to go over to this one. If I can find where, there it is, where it starts. And we'll go ahead and attach. Go ahead and attach it. I don't know why my screen just disappeared for me. That was strange. And we will go ahead and bring it in. Maybe. Maybe we will. Oh, it's hitting the wrong button. That's why. I was hitting shift instead of control. So this should swing it right to that other log for us to make it close enough. Oh, is that going to do it? It might not. Oh, that definitely ruined it. Okay, so let's leave. So we could leave that one there. Go ahead and... Whoops. Um, release and then on here we'll detach okay so now we'll grab this one and I'm, I'm interested to see if pulling two of these at a time is just gonna feel easy now there we go that is the proximity we want for the two so we'll go ahead and do R again and attach pull forward a little bit and now we'll raise it bring it in all the way even though I think it is already. And go ahead, start cruising. The second one is dragging a little bit, but not too terrible. And boy, I am looking forward to getting rid of most of these stumps, if not all of them. And I let a little bit out there and that seemed to do the trick to where the log's not right on my tail, but definitely raising the winch is what is helping. I know it's called winch. I just pronounce it incorrectly and it sounds like winch. Blame it on where I'm from, I guess. All right, there we go. And I do not like what I just saw there. We had 7,000 wood. Now we have 8,000. I guess we'll be trimming the... Ah. Oh, because I went to this one. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. So we should have 8,000 in here. And if we cruise over here, we should have 7,000. Let's double check. Correct, so they're good for now. We are going to drop off this attachment and the front loader probably. I will keep the buckets. Let's go to the store. Let's take a look at cultivators, see if there's something we can get that can help us clean up that area. And then we'll also be looking at stump grinders. 
Let's take a look in the store here. We want to go to, well, Cultivator would be fine, but I have to install a mod. I do need to install a mod. So we have this 12,000. Our horsepower is 130. So that small one would be the one we could go with. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have a plan. We're gonna go into mulchers here. And I've added this mod that requires 75 horsepower, three meters width, it's $8,900. Not much skin off our back financially. We know we can make that back pretty quickly. Whoa, whoa, don't run into it though. Yeah, I still haven't got the steering wheel hooked. <laughs> okay, we're playing ring around the rosy apparently. And I think this is the, yeah, this is the PTO side, right? Right, okay. So let's get this home. We'll do a little mulching session and then we'll come back and take a look at the stump grinders. You know, I was thinking about using a cultivator and then I was thinking, I think there's equipment that would actually work for this without any other mods added, but I did grab a, a mod on Mod Hub for the mulcher. So if we go forward, this should, yeah, it cleans up the ground for us, but it doesn't turn it into a field, which is what I want. I don't want these to turn into fields. I don't know how this is going to react when we do run over a stump, though. Is that what just happened there? It sure is. So we'll just have to cruise around them. And it might take a little bit of time, but this is all part of the process. Oh, we do have some fell trees that I didn't even know were there. The things we're going to find. All right, let's bust this out and get it done. All right, we're making some good progress here. I'm thinking about making this like something that I slowly catch up with over time. But I wanted to spend some of this time to kind of talk about, well, some obvious things. Making a million dollars, we could easily just do like six months really fast, you know, six or seven months really fast and just get to a million dollars. So millionaire, you know, maybe we should have said I don't know if there's a word for it, but like 10 million. Something that's a little bit more challenging, but it's not really about that. It is kind of about that. It's, it is, you know, what I'm trying to say is there's a method to my madness. There is a process I want to follow. And what we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to role play that this is an actual business venture that I have started. And until we get to, you know, FS25, we're going to keep progressing with it. Don't know how many episodes a week I'll keep doing. We might slow down. We might speed up. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm loving when this shows up on my schedule for what I'm going to record next right now. It's the thing I'm looking forward to the most, to be honest with you. And it's surprising because I didn't think it would be that way. But that being said, we'll probably get through an entire year in a couple more episodes. We'll probably start speeding up a little bit. And at that point, as a business owner, I'm going to make a decision on what type of loan I want to invest in to really speed up the process of growing the business. I want the big forestry equipment. I want a ton of productions. I'm going to keep looking online. I've got a few already added and some ideas that we're going to do, and we are going to add one of those in today's episode. But I just want to give you kind of an idea or a, an update on how I'm thinking I want this series to progress. And I feel like that that might have summed it up pretty well for you guys. And now I'm debating if this is even worth it, but I'm just going to finish up this little area right here. And then we're going to go get that stump grinder and grind all the stumps in this area. And then we'll talk about that next production we're looking at. Man, what a hack job. This kind of looks like when the young Grinch tried to shave to impress Susie Luhu, Lohu, Luhu. You know what I'm talking about. Where he shaves, cuts himself up, has a bunch of hair still left over. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Smulcher is doing a great job, but uh, I think the operator is the problem. Go get that stump grinder or go see about getting a stump grinder. I believe we have more than enough money for that. Looking in the store. Let's double check used market first. Nothing. Okay. There it is. Now, I think we have a front PTO on this. Will this work? Oh, but the weight issue. The weight issue, okay. We could get a rear weight potentially, or a front weight too, if we're gonna need it. Doesn't seem like we'll need the front weight, but let's go ahead and lower our bucket back down. Cause that's just obnoxious. 
And we're going to go ahead and head over, start cleaning up some of them stumps. And because my brain works this way, we're going to go to the top of the hill of where we've completely cleared out. So not a huge area right now, but we should got fuel while we're down there. And we'll start with this one here. See how good this works in reverse. That turned on. Is it, is it doing anything? Is it doing anything? Okay, now if we back up and lower. There we go. It's a little different than any of the other ones I've used. Shut it off and move. Find this next one here. Lift it up a little bit. Go ahead and activate it. Oh man, a little different. Let's pull forward, raise it up enough. There we go. Ooh, it's a little obnoxious. Not a big fan, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie to you. It's gonna take some time. Just keep grinding away and I'll uh, check in in a little bit. Okay, I take it back. When you get it lined up right, this thing works like a charm. So let's get like right on top of it, like that. Turn it on, lower it down. Stump's gone. Not bad at all. I think we got most of them. In that area we're talking about, and while I see this one right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. Let's grab it, let's get it taken care of. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. You don't get the sound indicator every time, so that was throwing me off a little bit. But we'll go ahead and head on over here and drop this in. Our soon to be, we'll have some storage over here eventually. Kind of have an idea of the layout I'm looking at here for some other productions already. I love it. All right, that works for there. Let's get the the winch, and we're going to finish getting these populated before we work on that new production. Still got some terraforming to do here. Gosh dang it. How did it roll that far? Well, this should be the last tree we need for the night. Go cruise on up over here. Put this in, then we'll check the capacity just to make sure. Oops, that's not what we wanted to do. Yeah, 16,000 will be enough. So let's go ahead and shut off the tractor for now. Then we'll go ahead right about here. Jump into this menu. Let me see if I can find that production. And here it is. Here it is. So what I, from what I understand, this is a tree nursery. We're going to have to go get some seeds. And from what I understand, 25 seeds plus. Oh, are these required? It says or herbicide. That's dash dash should be an or. So when we go to activate right now, it should be red missing material. It is only showing. Huh? OK, but this is we're going to get sapling. So let's get some seed first. We will grab the forks and the tractor and we'll head on over to the store. Get a let's do like two or three bags. We'll do we'll do one bag. We will do one bag of seed, but let's go ahead and start building a little stockpile here of our implements. Kind of give me a good idea. Oh, look at that. A good idea of the type of storage we're going to need. And yeah, the pallets are right there. We'll go grab those and head on over to the store. And then that'll tell us once we have the seed if we do need herbicide. Because I don't know where we would get manure. I thought they were both optional. It just grows better. I don't understand why you would need herbicide to grow saplings. Recycle, huh? All right, let's head on into the store. Get some seeds. Yeah, we'll just do one bag for now. Now, is this where we drop off everything? Let's see. Yes, it is. Oh, oh fuel is so low, it's flashing. No one told me. No one told me. We'll have to head back and get that soon. Okay, that's filled up. Let's go ahead and jump in the production again. Now let's take a look. So let's activate it now. And it is OK. So what from what I understand is we would get a huge increase in the rate that we would get these saplings. So the plan is to spawn these. We'll have to get a planter and I was hoping to get these planted in November, but hopefully we'll have enough in December. Let's find out. Super early, only 39 liters have produced and we ran out of seed already. Okay, so we're gonna have to load this thing up with seeds. And I, I don't know if we need to get to a thousand. Gosh. Yeah, output is one sapling. So like, how do we, am I, oh, they are right here. 
They're starting to grow. Maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Anybody knows how to use this, let me know. I'm going to deactivate it for now. Next episode, we will load this up with a ton of seed. We'll spend a lot of money on that. A lot of trips back and forth. I believe it holds 20,000. We will buy probably 20,000 liters of seeds. And then first thing to start the next episode. So we got all this stuff to sell. Start adding to that money. And then we'll start working on the next expansion of the Lumberjack Millionaire Challenge. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out. I will catch you on the next one.